This is the Brunton 9077 Lens Attic Compass. So let's have a look around the compass. The compass folds open with the sight line in the lid, the main body, the lens holder and the thumb loop. As the lens attic name suggests, you take a sighted bearing, or some countries call that shooting an azimuth, by looking through a lens at a rotating disc, which is marked in mils and degrees. There's a 1 to 50,000 scale on the straight edge, and there are a number of luminous points that you can use when you're using this at night. On the face of the glass there's two green lines, one which is important and the other one isn't, and under the glass there's the index line. To take a bearing from a map, put the compass on the map, it doesn't matter which way the map is pointing, with the straight edge touching the start and the destination. Make sure that the wire is pointing in the direction of travel. Rotate the dial until the long green line is pointing up the map or north. Next, rotate the compass until the long green line is directly over the north indicator. And then read the bearing from underneath the index line. To follow the bearing, just hold the compass with the long green line over the north pointer and walk towards the wire. Oh, the short green line was used in the past to speed up night navigation, but I don't have time to go through that today. I made a video showing how this was done and I'll put the link in the description box. In my opinion, the negative aspects of this compass would be that I would prefer the magnifying section on the glass to be at the end of the index line and not at the, on the green line as it is now. This is just a throwback to the way the old M1938 US military compasses used to be used. Also, there's nowhere to attach a lanyard other than through the thumb loop, so maybe something could be added. Also, I would, it's just my opinion, I would be able, prefer to be able to buy a compass with either mills or degrees. Brunton have actually made a compass which can be used as a compass. I mean, let's face it, these aren't designed so that a forward observer can direct anything a certain amount away from a TRP. But what they have managed to do is to produce an inexpensive, good quality, lightweight lens attic navigation compass. They've also done something which, as far as I know, no one else has been able to do. And that is, they've actually been able to improve on the original M3856 design by adding an index line. I would rate this as a seven out of 10 because it's a really good compass. As always, the same question, would I buy this compass for my own use? Yes, not as my main compass because I prefer base plates, but it's cheap enough to carry as a spare or in case I need to take really accurate compass bearings over longer distances.